the 2000. The pace will be all important and dispatch from the 2000 meter marker to a good enough beginning here. Birthright got a good start and as did Kudzu along the inside, but Birthright inclined to overrace just a little bit in the early stages in a blue moon, surpassing it on the outside and showing his head up uh, over there in front now. Behind them in fourth is Puerto Plata with Mr. Spain and Exhale is not far off them. So the six runners only covered by three and a half lengths as they pass the mile start and the favourites off to the front. Now Birthright, but he's being tackled by Puerto Plata. The pace too slow. Puerto Plata is the new leader from Birthright and in a blue moon. Further back to Kudzu on the rail. Gives the leader three lengths start with Exhale further out. And Mr. Spain is the back marker. And there's uh, got to be now six to seven lengths covering them with 1,200 metres left to go. Puerto Plata, the leader by just over a length from Birthright and second in a blue moon. The pink cap is racing back in that third spot. Then came along the inside of those. And that is uh, Kudzu racing four lengths off the leader. Behind that is Exhale and the back marker, Mr. Spain, about five or six lengths off the leader as they come down the side of the track to the top of the elbow and they've got 800 metres left to go and it's Puerto Plata kicked away by two and a bit now from Birthright and second in a blue moon races on the outside and third. Kudzu has been saved on the fence, the gold cap, four lengths to make up with Exhale a length behind that and further back to Mr. Spain as they're coming off that six and a half metre false rail here today, coming down to the Spurn entering the home straight. 500 metres left to go. Puerto Plata in a blue moon has made an early move. Birthright. Kudzu's gone right down towards the inside to make its run. And Exhale isn't out of it either with a length and a half to make up entering the last 300 metres. Birthright. Kudzu right down the inside. Then in a blue moon. Behind that is Exhale. But Kudzu has gone for home here. Kicked a length and a half. Two clear of the favourite Birthright in second. And it's Kudzu's race to lose. Kudzu's going on strongly inside the closing stages. Three lengths clear of the opposition and Kudzu wins comfortably. Kudzu second place going to be tight. Birthright maybe on the outside exhale was involved. Then came Inner Blue Moon, Puerto Plata and Mr. Spain has not completed the course. Two behind that Inner Blue Moon and then came Puerto Plata and as I said in the call Mr. Spain did not complete the course. Kudzu came for the inside running rail as they turned for home. It took up the advantage here and uh, he went on to win a good race here. The favourite could not find was again a bit over racing in the beginning part and did not settle really into his groove today. Got caught out on the line by Exhale who runs second, Birthright third and in a blue moon fourth. Kudzu is the son of Flower Alley. He was bred by the Fulkerboss Drift and Maritzfontein outfit. And he's out of that very good pivotal mare. Headstrong. Well done to Lawrence Werners, who's on course today. He's come back from a short sojourn to... All right, so that's how we open up proceedings here at Turfontein. A glorious day in the south of Johannesburg, and I'll tell you, a very good performance from Kudzu. Went over the 2,000 meters for the first time, the son of Flower Alley. Uh, bred by Vokobos Drift and Maritzfontein Stud Farm. Top ride, Gavin Larina. And, of course, a big well done to Johan Janser van Fieren and to Lawrence Verners. Great to have Lawrence at the races today. Well done, Gav. Good to see you, as always. I know you're doing a bit of traveling. Good winner in Durban yesterday, and uh, you must have been very impressed with his win today. Yeah, very good win, Brand. Uh, you know, the pace ended up very sedate, and uh, his horse set actually takes time to unwind. But um, I must say, he gave it to me instantly at the top of the straight, and he was able to maintain it nicely. Good looking horse, Gav. Like you say, the penny probably hasn't quite dropped with him. He'll win a few more. Yeah, I think he's, he's just going to get better as he gets older. Uh, he's still quite an immature, lanky top. Um, I'm sure once he strengthens, and he's just going to keep getting better and better this one. Gav, if you don't mind me asking you about the rest of your rides, I mean, Breath of Magic, I see about six to one in the market. Consistent individual? Yeah, consistent. Uh, he ran a nice fourth to, to Viva Spirit and followed up with a second in the work riders. So just look, it looks like a very competitive field. So hoping for a positive run from him. I'll ask you, Hannah, about his runners. Um, litigation, American Grayson. Let's start with litigation, probably on the short side. Yeah, obviously it's his first run of, uh, of this campaign. Uh, Mr. Terry's got the cheek pieces on today and just looking for a positive run to, to have him finishing the race. We'll be very happy. Gav, American Grayson, now I know if you're a man that watches replays, he was hitting the line strongly last time out. Do you think he's got enough to turn it around with Breeze over? Yeah, I did some work on the, uh, in the week on this horse and uh, he's given me a nice feel. I think it's like a bit of a match race, but 
I think you should be on me. Okay. Well, yeah, thanks for the confidence. Well done over here. Thank you very much. Well done to Mr. Werners and his family. Thank you to Johan and the team. They're doing a good job. Well done. Well done, Gav. There we go. That's Kevin Lorena. Good to have him back in the winner's box. Well done, Johan. Good to see you as always. Um, obviously a good-looking horse. I know that uh, you've made that statement. Um, you were probably a bit disappointed with one or two of his runs, but he set the record straight today. Oh, listen, he's leggy and immature, and he's a staying type. So um, I was never disappointed I just know he needs to strengthen up and he needs to go over the trip um, I've rushed him to the trip which I don't normally do but um, like I said in the past a couple of times we're trying to make field stand up and um, that's why I nominated half the off the string and um, yeah just glad we pulled it off I didn't expect to win to be honest with you um, I just wanted horses out and running and all that and um, I thought the only way we could possibly win it was if there's a, like a, a slow pace or something like that we're hoping to Anything to see the favourite getting beat, beaten was a messed up pace. And um, yeah, listen, it ended up working in our favour, even though my horses are slow and and um, probably needs a better pace. Um, I just, yeah, listen, it worked out for us today. Um, Gavin was well aware of if, of um, what he was doing. And um, yeah, congratulations to him. He did pick the horse. I um, wanted him to ride XL and not run Kudzo, but he was adamant Kudzo must run. So yeah, thank you to Gavin. And um, Nice to have one we didn't expect. Yeah, honey, if you don't mind me asking you quickly, um, obviously nice horses. Presley, a horse that I think is going to improve. Yeah, Presley, listen, he ran a cracker first. He's a hell of a nice horse. He really, really is. So follow me in the future. Um, he never came out of that run very well. He lost a lot of weight and it took me a lot of time to get weight back on him. So I'm almost starting over again in a thousand today, but he's a classy horse. I think he can pull through. Um, I just won't take even money about him, not in a thousand. He's a horse that's going to run probably 18 or 2,000 in time, but he is a hell of a nice horse for, um, for the future. Give him a couple of runs and you'll see a nice horse. Talk about classy horses. That was Red Bomber. Looks to be way above average. Um, yeah, he's putting up some superb work at home. Probably a touch shop at 1,200, um, but it's a nice place for us to start we decided three months ago this is where we're going to start with him and um yeah listen i'm excited to watch him run he's he's putting up some solid work at home gavin very very confident um obviously we're not waited to win it and so we do respect the others but um he's also he's a hell of horse and then try me and bon vivant so they must have chances Bon Vivant, yeah, it's the only race I had for her, and she's also putting up super work at home. This is the time of the year she comes well. You'll see her previous win was this time of the year, last year, I think. Um, just unfortunately, the draw, you know, I, I, I don't, would not never have run from that draw if there was another option, but there is no other option, so we're taking our chances. Once again, Gavin worked a loss. So we can set you around very close. Just need a bit of luck from the draw. Try me, try me, I think we'll probably need it. Um, we, we couldn't put that bad run of a lot, um, we couldn't put it down to anything, so I just gave her a little breather in the paddock. She's a small filly, she doesn't take work, so we're starting over today. Johan, well done over here. Hopefully we'll chat later. It. Thank you. There we go. That's uh, Johan Janssen van Fieren. Uh, 5,000 rand from Betway, Johan. Please, if you can just show the camera. I know they're all upstairs, and uh, 5,000 rand goes a long way. Hopefully you'll be getting a few more throughout the day. Thank you very much to the team. Uh, then quickly chat to the winning groom. Well done, sir. Um, wonderful stuff. I thought your horse looked an absolute picture. I know you do all the hard work back at home and uh, you'll be getting 1,500 Rand from World Sports Betting. Well done. Thank you so much, sir. I want to thank the whole team back home because this horse has been disappointing us for many, many times. But today we got a win for him. So we're really expecting a lot from him. Lovely stuff. Well, you'll get the cash. There we go from World Sports Betting. 1,500 Rand to the winning groom. All right, and that's how we close off race number one's interview. A big well done to Gavin Larina. A big well done to Johan Janssen van Fieren. And obviously a massive well done to Lawrence Furness. Good to have him out here at the races. After a small trip to the bush, we continue with live racing. The PA starts in race two.